Hey there, Scorpio. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so just take what fits and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, you don't even know anybody going through this, just try a different message, okay? We're going to start with the Light Seer's Tarot, see what's going on. Actually, this is the only deck I'm pulling from today. We're just going to keep going until we run out of time. Ten of Swords. All right, clearing your mind is what I'm hearing. Clearing your mind, clearing your home as well. Um, somebody could actually be moving the furniture around to kind of get more of a walkway or a breezeway, like open up the house. I'm actually getting like minimalism here as well. The moon card. Yeah, you're, it's clearing your intuition, clearing your path, clearing your emotions. This is a lot of clearing, you guys. Some of you guys aren't really vocalizing this. Like maybe people around you don't really notice it. You notice it. They don't notice it yet. This could be internal work, but I am actually, it, it most likely is with air and water here. That's internal for sure. But I am getting physical too. Very heavy on the physical. I don't know. Maybe it's trash night. Let's see. What's going on? <laughs> For Scorpio, we got Cancer and Pisces with the moon here, Gemini with the Ten of Swords. Thank you. King of Cups. Scorpio energy there. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff here. I'm hearing the song Sail. I don't usually hear that when I see this card. That's actually a first, but I'm hearing that. Set and sail. It's like you've got your heart set on something. And even if it brings up certain emotions, you're willing to go with it. Go with this flow and see where it takes you. I feel like you're not scared of your emotions anymore, Scorpio. I feel like you've done enough of the... Yeah. You've done enough of the work inside that like you've changed you actually enjoy going down there now because it's not so ugly. You've really cleaned it out quite a bit. Some of you guys are overcoming a fear as well. Some of you are seeing a past loved one. I'm specifically getting a grandpa. Pop, papa? I'm, it's pronounced papa though. I'm not sure who that is. But it sounds like papa, not papa, right? Death, rebirth, more Scorpio energy. And the two of cups, cancer. Yeah. Yeah, this could definitely be somebody that passed on that's connecting to you, reaching you. You're not so alone. I think there's somebody else that they're that's getting visitors too. Yeah, there's somebody else around you that's also getting visitors. But um, I think what's really exciting about this is like this person meant a lot to you and when they come to you, yes, you get in your feels. It's just what happens that's part of how you know they're around is when you start feeling like, oh my gosh, I miss them so much and it just hits you out of nowhere. That's because they just showed up. <laughs> All right. That's just, they just took a seat next to you. <laughs> that's what happened. That's why it hits you out of nowhere because yeah, boop, there they are. Um, but when they come around, I feel like it's happened enough that you don't cry uncontrollably like you used to. Um, you're actually open to receiving whatever messages it is they're coming around to tell you, or you understand when they're around you, um, because you're being protected and you get a lot of your inspiration from this person. There's also a little bit of witchy energy that comes with the Queen of Wands. So maybe you guys, um resonate a little bit with, you know, candles and, and fire. You could stare into a campfire for like ever, right? Or um, there's a, what is it? The fire, the candles, the incense, even the crystals. Um, but utilizing physical things to set the mood or help to set the tone, set the energy. You know what I mean? And I think this person is helping you. They're definitely not the only ancestor, but they're... Your connection with them is um, very clear. 
I'm also getting a lot of self-love mastery with the King of Cups here. And I think it's bringing a lot of inspiration and drive and energy to the table for you. And um, <laughs> that might be what's changing the game for you here. A lot of different messages. Just take what fits, okay? Four of Cups, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups. Wow, that's a lot of the emotion again. I keep getting so much emotion. Scorpio, you're not a very emotional sign. I mean, when you get upset, you get upset. But that's just because you have very, very firm morals and values. And you really don't fucking waver on that. That's that's part of the um, fixed sign energy that you've got. There's just something about the past that you weren't very happy with, but it's like you've learned to take it all in, sit in it as the queen of cups, and then come back to the surface a little more educated, a little more, you know, from the queen to the king. It's like a leveling up. You've done it so many times, you're experienced. So when you go down, as you come back up, you just get that much more clear. Or as this person comes around, they're helping you that much more. This is somebody that was around when you were a child or maybe they passed when you were a child. Maybe you never even really got to know them too well. I think for most of you, you did though. You were, you were young though. Like single digits type of young. Yeah, ace. Oh, some of you are the reincarnation. Yes, looking at this at a different angle. Some of you are the reincarnation of a family member that you keep hearing stories about. He or she would do that all the time. The same thing you do. Yeah. They would really like you. I bet you guys would get along well. I'm, I'm sure you've heard all of these things being said, right? Some of you really are that person reincarnated. How freaking cool is that? How cool is that? What else do we have for Scorpio? Let's get that final card out for you guys, and then we'll take a peek at the bottom of the deck, see what's going on. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, temperance. <laughs> temperance, that's wild. All right, so that's Pisces and Sagittarius energy with those two. I don't know if I said it or not, but Cancer. Is it Cancer? No, King is Cancer, Queen is Scorpio. And then Scorpio, Aries, Cancer, Pisces. So yeah, this, this, is, um, this is wild. Yeah, you're finding out that you are an ancestor, reborn, Nine of Cups, reborn, the sun card, it makes all the sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Yeah, magician. So everything that she could do, you can do. Or he, right? Or this is why you have the connection you do to the ancestors. Because you're the first one to realize you are an ancestor. Oh, that's so cool too. Scorpio, I could spend forever dissecting this reading for you because you are blowing my mind. But I do actually have to wrap this up. So I'm going to leave it here. We've got Virgo, Gemini, Leo, and uh, Libra. This was awesome. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love yous and I'll see you soon. Until then, as I know you will, stay beautiful.